My name's Andrew Phillips. I was diagnosed with cancer and before I came into the hospital, the stoma nurse came to see me. She explained what they were, A, what the operation was going to entail, B, that it was the new enhanced recovery. So obviously it was a pilot scheme and they wanted to see whether I, I was happy with going ahead with this. The enhanced recovery programme after surgery has changed the way that we manage patients going through colorectal surgery from diagnosis to discharge. We see the patients in the community prior to admission and we teach them about the programme. That's the important aspect that they know what it involves. There was a fantastic backup team working in the hospital from the consultants and the surgeons through to the stoma nurses, the dieticians, the physiotherapists and obviously the nurses that were looking after me on the ward, they were fantastic. The main difference I've seen since we've implemented the Enhanced Recovery Programme is that a lot of patients now are encouraged to eat and drink within hours after their surgery. So finding patients that are actually hungry a couple of hours after their surgery and are requesting food and drink, which is a complete difference to a couple of weeks ago, where people are probably kept in by mouth for about three or four days afterwards. Finding that they're a lot stronger, they're mobilising much quicker and they're back to a normal textured diet within two to three days after their surgery. All our patients are now pre-assessed and I think that's a big difference from before. Before physio only got involved in the recovery process after surgery. Now very much from the moment the decision is made, people are talking about the physical recovery, the mobility, the physio input. So we know patients that need to have more um, adapted goals. So patients with mobility problems beforehand will now have adapted goals for afterwards. The first day I was in the high dependency ward, they even had me out walking 50 metres twice that day, which I have to say, I thought at the time, gosh, this seems quite a, quite a way to go. But strangely enough, once you were up and walking, the more you did, the more comfortable you felt. As a clinical nurse specialist who meets the patients initially at diagnosis in clinic, and then following them through the whole journey, it's very rewarding to see patients actually making such a quick recovery after surgery. When they, you see them on day two walking around, before when they're in day two they might have been in bed or just sitting out in a chair, it's a big, big difference that you see in the patients. And also just seeing their relatives come in and seeing, wow, you're up and about. Mara Lee's the physiotherapist. Um, by the fifth day, she had a little um, course out in one of the corridors. Basically, there was a cone two cones 30 meters apart and she said I want you to walk to the from the first cone to the second and continue to walk from one to the other for six minutes. In that time I think I covered about 437 meters I think which she said was more than a, an athletics track so she was quite impressed at the time. I, considering the major surgery I'd gone through and it was only basically four days before it was amazing how I recovered in just that short time. Um, the enhancing recovery program is an example of one of those things where care is more standardised and patients are actually put at the centre of it. So the patient experience, patient safety is actually thought of a lot earlier and as that's the centre of our care. By eliminating um, variation we make sure the patient's getting the right care at the right time by the right person and that kind of eliminates any harm and improves patient safety. It helps reduce waste, harm and variation by improving the overall experience and getting patients fitter quicker and reducing complications following surgery which has an impact on the length of stay and the increased capacity in the hospital. Since the operation, it's now six weeks since I had it and um, I'm amazed just how much I'm actually able to do now. Last week I started to drive a little bit and it's just enjoyable to get back. I actually feel really great. Patients are feeling a lot stronger and happier um, coming, leaving hospital. We're finding that in um, pre-op we're giving them a lot of information about the Enhanced Recovery Programme and empowering them um, with their health care and their follow-up and we're finding that patients are a lot happier with their care and are leaving the hospital with a smile. <laughs>